Hey, what up, what up, what up? This is Tillman's Temper. Um, just a little quick tidbit of stuff that's upsetting and making me upset, which there's a lot to choose from, especially in today's environment. But let's talk about, uh, let's talk about race. Oh, here you go. Everything's gotta be about race. Everything's gotta be about race. I don't see color. Bullshit. So you tell me that you can't see what's going on in the NFL right now is not a crock of shit, then you're part of the problem. See, what happens, you have this Flores guy who's taking the Miami Dolphins, who haven't been relevant since their undefeated season under Shula, basically, have two winning seasons, are in contention, are a few pieces away from maybe becoming something exciting. Two seasons, winning seasons at that. It still gets fired. Now he's applying for jobs. He texts and it says, oh, the job's already given to whoever it was. See, what happens is you put this rule in effect. Oh, we're supposed to help minorities. But in reality, it doesn't. Why give me the fucking interview if I'm not even really a consideration for the job? Oh, it's so I don't get fined. It's so I don't get in trouble. You're telling me. You're telling me black folks are good enough and smart enough to play for you win games for you, be Super Bowl MVPs for you, sell shoes for you, sell tickets for you, but they're not smart enough to become the head coach of your organization? Bullshit. Look, being a minority, you've got to freaking win at a higher level, Everything's got to be a higher level. You're not allowed to have mistakes. Now, you have exceptions to that rule. Like Coach Tomlin. He's a fit for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But every year when they have a bad season, he's always in that hot seat. But you have people like Jason Garrett, who was a horrible coach, get picked up right away. You see, Flores has every right to sue the NFL. Will it do him any good? I don't know, because that's a good old boy system. You may have one, maybe two minority owners, and then you'll have some ownership that says, hey, we'll give Mr. Tillman a piece of the pie just so he can say he's a minority owner, but I only have 1% of the share. Doesn't make any sense. It's all about covering your ass. Making sure you don't look racist. Making sure you're not part of that good old boy system. It's crazy how these people can have losing records and still be considered for one of the most prestige jobs in America, coaching an NFL football team. You know, Dan Quinn. Didn't have such a good success rate at Atlanta. Comes to the Cowboys and makes him a good defense. Boom, he gets talented right away. You have Eric B. Enemy for the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs have been in the freaking AFC Championship the last four years. But he's not good enough to get an interview? He's not good enough to, to coach a, a team? Get the hell out of here. Josh McDaniels is going to get a job tried it and he's tried and tried and he hasn't been very successful so you gotta understand some people are these are the roles they've got to understand the role they've got to understand well maybe i'm not a head coach material but how can you say that about a head coach who's got to really rebuild a team from the ground up in miami work with the pieces that he's been given and then saying hey we need to get a super bowl 
or we need to see more from you. But you have these other coaches and these other organizations that will say, oh, we'll give this guy time after time after time an opportunity. See, people always like, why do you go for, why do you like the Ravens? Why do you like the Kansas City Chiefs? Because I like them because white America says black guys can't play quarterback. They don't think quick enough. They're not smart enough. But guess what? That's being proved wrong. So they've been proved wrong. And now they're saying, oh, blacks can't coach. Bullshit. They can coach. You just got to give them the opportunity. So quit fucking around and give us a fair shake. Give minorities a fair shake at the table. Give them the same amount of time to turn an organization around as you would a white guy. See, you talk about not seeing color, but that's all you fucking see is color. Give Flores a chance. And you know what? Now that he's suing the NFL, he's gonna be blackballed just like Kaepernick, guaranteed. Or you're gonna find an organization and say, you know what, let's just, fuck it, let's just give him a chance because we don't want bad press. Or they're gonna spin it to try to make good press for their team. And then yeah, even if he gets a head coaching job, he's gonna be held to a higher standard. So, ask yourself, Black people are good enough to play for you. Black people are good enough to sell tickets for you. But black people can't coach your goddamn team. No, fuck that. I'm out.